Welcome to the Element Obturation Unit movie. We are going to see in details the component of this unit and how to use it in practice. First, this section is dedicated to the system B. The second section is dedicated to the extruder. We can turn on the unit by pressing the on and off button or we can touch any button or on any handle for 2-3 seconds and the unit will go on automatically. We just touch it, we have a blue LED light for 2-3 seconds and the unit will go on. Let's see. For the system beef, we have the plus and minus. They are for digital control of the temperature. 200 degrees is set for gutta percha, and 160 degrees is set for real seal. The second button is for hot pulp testing. The third one is to do coterie, and the temperature is 600 degrees. The fourth button is for backfilling if you want to use the backfill and temperature is 100 degree. And the last button is for downpacking. So 200 is for get the percha, 160 for reed seal. We can preset it, press on the button for three seconds and the unit is set for 160 degree. Now the second part, which is the extruder part. The first button is to launch the heating of the cartridge and you can see the SS showing the second button is to choose which heating mode as for reed seal the second one is for no heat and when we have no display is for gutta percha this one is to choose the speed of extrusion one speed for slow two speed for fast and you can also control the speed blue for fast and green for slow. The next button is to return the, plung the plunger back and this one is to choose which sound mode we are going to use. If we press again the heating mode we are going to stop the heating of the cartridge. The choice of cartridges black is going to be for gutta percha, gray for reed seal and the black is the new design of the cartridges. No display is for gutta percha. We just insert it and turn it to lock it. We can take it out. Reseal is going to be in gray color. We can use a manual wrench or our fingers to lock the cartridge. And we have three different diameters of the needle. The choice of pluggers. We have five different pluggers. And the new one is going to be the 3004, which is going to be used in narrow and curved canals. The pluggers are set to minus 5 mm from working lengths, and we need to choose the largest plugger that will reach minus 5 mm. The second one is the fine, which is an 06 taper. The choice of the largest one is in order to assure the best of our hydraulics. The fine medium is then being tried on. This is the medium and the medium large, which is a taper of 12. You can see they have different angles that you can adapt the plugger depending on which tooth you are treating. Is it an upper molar, lower premolar, or a lateral incisor? The choice of a master cone, the material we are using is a real seal. We insert the master cone to the exact working banks. We try the deck pack. 
if you don't have an appropriate tuck back we can cut like millimeter by millimeter from the master cone and we try it back again so it needs to be fit at the exact working length with a good tuck back Reed seal self edge sealer is used the choice of hand pluggers we are going to try them on 5 mm by 5 mm from the working lengths until the orifice a bit of sealer on the master cone and then we insert it slowly, gently, no brushing movement We take the system B. We cut the cone at the entrance of the canal. We plug it in order to have a good coronal seal. And then we put the plugger or the system B plugger in the center. We activate, we go down minus one millimeter, we cut the power, and then we go down until the appropriate working lengths which is minus 5 mm from the working length of the canal after 10 seconds we activate for 1 second and we take back the system B we take a manual plugger and we plug the apical area a bit of sealer are delivered it can be delivered with a clean file with a cone or with a paper point the extruder are being preheated we take the needle we insert it gently slowly no pressure on the needle we extrude for like three four five millimeters it's going to push us back out from the canal we plug the middle part of the canal with the hand file with the hand plugger and then we take the extruder back we fill it until the orifice and we plug it and then at the end 40 seconds of light curing in order to assure an immediate coronal seal